friends, and welcome back to No Coffee Needed. I'm Chad, right here in the heart of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we are doing something great and special today just for you guys. I promise you, you're going to love it. It's a great game day meal, appetizer, whatever you want to do, or you can just fix it for supper one night, because that's what I'm doing. This is what I'm having for dinner tonight, and you're going to love it, so just stick around. But guys, before we get into all of that, if you would go ahead and like, share, make some comments down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up so you won't miss out on anything we've got coming to you from right here in the kitchen and no coffee needed. So guys, go ahead and hit all of that and we'll get started. All right, what we're doing today is guys the Eddie's. What? Trash can nachos. So guys, just to let you know, if you don't have a trash can, if you don't have one of those tins, so I'm making just kind of like a single, maybe a double serving of the trash can nachos. And what we did is we just took a regular sifter, took me like 30 seconds to disassemble this, to make it a whole. And that's what we're going to assemble the trash can nachos in today. It didn't take but a second to take out that little handle and the little wand. And then I just took a spoon and my rubber mallet and tapped that ring out that holds the screen. So guys, there it is. Real simple. If you don't have something like that, you can always use your regular big can. You can use almost anything. As long as it's round and it's a cylinder, you can make trash can nachos wherever you are. But guys, what we're using today is we're just using black beans. I like whole black beans. I don't like the black bean puree quite as much. I love black beans, so I'm not making a puree. I got that. We've got some pickled Vidalia onions. We've got some sour cream. Got the Big Daddy's barbecue sauce right here. Guys, we got chips. We got a pan. We have parchment paper. And for the SMC, that cheese, that super melty cheese, we have got a half a cup of mozzarella. We've got three quarters of a cup of sharp cheddar. We've got one cup of pepper jack cheese. All this is freshly shredded. We've got one jalapeno pepper cut up. We've got some pico right there. We've got some milk. We got one and a half cups of milk. We got some Worcestershire sauce. We got two tablespoons of flour, we got two tablespoons of butter, and then we've got this pulled pork that we had left over. That's right, check it out, right up there. That was wrapped versus unwrapped. Pulled pork, Boston butt on the pit ball. So guys, that's what we got left over right there. That's going in these nachos. First thing we wanna do, the first thing we wanna do is get this SMC started, and that's where we're going now. So we wanna take two, gonna set, oh, before we do all that, let's get this oven set at 350. Let it go ahead and start warming up. We're gonna put this on medium, and then the pot is going on medium heat. Now we can get started on the SMC, the super melted cheese. Guys, this is what we had in our refrigerator. You can use smoked Gouda. I think that's what Guy Fieri does in all of his restaurants is use smoked Gouda and some others. This is what we're using though. This is what we had in our refrigerator. So this is what we're going with. Guys, you make the SMC however you want to, or you can even buy a can of regular cheese sauce or queso, whatever you want to do, make it your own. This is what we're doing today. All right, two tablespoons of butter. Gonna let that melt. Guys, I don't know if you've had the trash can nachos. We went to downtown Flavortown in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, or Sevierville, right there at Dollywood last week. Got the nachos and they were just off the chain. Guys, I'm telling you, they were super good. He uses his brown sugar barbecue sauce in his nachos. Now we're not doing that. We're using Big Daddy's barbecue sauce that we made right here in No Coffee Needed Kitchen. So we've got that right there. That's the barbecue sauce we're using. We really, really like that. You may have, I know you've seen and heard us talk about it several times, but guys, that's what we're doing. 
the barbecue sauce we're using. What we're doing is we're letting this butter melt. Gonna add a little bit of this flour in here. Just give it a stir. We're gonna let this cook for three or four minutes. And then we're gonna add the milk just a little bit at a time. Gonna cook this on medium heat for just a few minutes. And what that does is that butter does away with that flour taste. So you won't taste any flour whatsoever in here, but it does give it the ability to thicken up. Just making a cheese roux, I guess you would call it. So let's just give that a couple more minutes. All right, guys, that has been cooking for a few minutes. Now we're gonna just add this milk just a little bit at a time. You don't want to add a lot. Just want to keep getting this stirred up, whisk up. Just do it a little bit at a time as you go. guys this has been cooking for a few minutes we've got all that milk added in there we're gonna add a little bit we're gonna start off with our mozzarella cheese then we're gonna add our sharp cheddar Woo! isn't that looking good I tell you what man Sandy was just a genius when she came up with that right there. She said, hey, just use your regular sifter. Take it apart. I bet you can take it apart and put it back together pretty quick. And hey, you know what? It worked. So that's what we're using. We weren't making a big thing of nachos. She and I are probably going to share this tonight as we watch a movie. Guys, but anyway, there we go. You can see it's melting. We're gonna go ahead and add that pepper jack. Gonna give it a little bit of spiciness, good flavor. We'll just keep stirring this till it gets good and melted. For what? Super Melted Cheese SMC. It's going to be Amazing! Just keep stirring. You don't want to stop stirring. You got to keep on moving. All right, now that that's about melted, it's almost right where we want it. We're going to add a little bit of that W sauce in there. Now, I'm not putting any jalapeno pepper juice in here. And the reason is I used that pepper jack cheese, which is gonna give it a little bit of a spot, a little bit of a kick, not much, no more than probably no more or no less than jalapeno pepper juice. So anyway, that's what we're using. Got that Worcestershire sauce in there. Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's melted up right there. I think it needs a little more cheese. What you guys think? Chonk. What the heck? Let's put it in there. Aha. Now we'll just stir this up and let that finish melting. Whoo, doesn't that look good? Bo has smelled it already. Look at him checking out. How are you, buddy? Yeah, he's ready for a little nachos himself. 
All right, guys, that right cheese sauce is ready to go. We're gonna set it over here to the side. Let's go ahead and start on the nachos. So what we did is we took our pan, got some parchment paper right there. We're gonna take this bag. We're spreading the whole bag of nachos out on this tray. Just like that. Just like that. Gonna take some of this sharp cheddar cheese. And just coat it really, really good. Hey, we can't have any naked nachos. <laughs> we got to get it all covered just like that. Gonna take a little bit of this black bean. Now with the puree, it is easier to kind of spread it out, but hey, just like my black beans whole, just like that. Hey guys, we went, while we were in Tennessee, we also went to the, what? The beautiful bean company, Bush Beans' store and museum, and it was so neat. I'll have a video coming out on that as well, so just be on the lookout for that. Now we're gonna take this SMC, I'm gonna pour it all over the nachos. Sick man, look at that. You just can't beat that. Look. We're gonna take a little bit of meat and we're gonna go ahead and put on here just like that. And then when we assemble it in the can, we will actually put it a little more in there. And then we're saving our sour cream and everything, the garnishes for the top. So guys, let's stick this in there. You know what? Hey, you know what you gotta have. You gotta have a little more cheese, you know what? There we go, a little more cheese. We're gonna stick this in the oven. Guys, we're sticking this in the oven for about 10 minutes. Let that cheese melt. Guys, woo, it's gonna be amazing. All right, guys, the nachos have been in the oven for just a few minutes, about six, seven, eight minutes, something like that. We're gonna reach in here and all that cheese is melted. Look at that yummy, plate of goodness right there. Good gracious. All right, now that we've got that, it is time to start assembling those nachos into this sifter. Ha <laughs> ha. Make believe trash can. There we go, right there. So the best way to do this is, oh, we want to take a little bit of our cheese sauce and just put a little dab down in there to begin with. So what we're gonna start with some of that cheese, SMC, super melty cheese. Then we're gonna take our spatula and just start putting those nachos in there. Now I probably made way more nachos than I actually needed for this, but hey, what the heck. Gonna push that down in there. Now what we want to do is take a little bit of that cheese sauce, put in there, take a little bit of this cheese and put in there. Little bit of black bean in there. Little bit of pico. Little more meat. Then we're gonna go back with more nachos. And you just kinda wanna push this down, push it down in there good and tight so that it starts to take the form of that trash can 
AKA Sifter. See, we got a few naked nachos in there, so which we got to pour a little cheese sauce in there. A little more cheese. A little more meat. A few more black beans. Push that down in there. Get it packed in there good and tight. A little bit of pico. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Now to soak down in there. A few of these pickled Vidalia onions. Let's put a few more nachos in there. God, look at that, guys. That just looks so good. All right. Go put it tad bit of cheese sauce on here. Tell you what, before we do that, let's add just a hair of barbecue sauce right there on top. A little more cheese sauce. So I'm gonna SMC, tap it, tap it with a little bit more of that barbecue. Uh oh, making a mess, making a mess. Then we'll take our sour cream, just a dollop of do ya. A little bit right there, put a couple of these jalapenos on top. Just like that. Take some of that pico, drop on there just like that. Couple more of these pickled onions. And we didn't use red onions, we used Vidalia onions. This is what we had in our cabinet. So there again, guys, if you got stuff in your cabinet, just go ahead and use it up. Just another little Look how beautiful that right there is. Now, probably need to clean this up just a little bit. Trash can nachos. Check it out, guys. Trash can nachos, a.k.a. sifter nachos. I don't know if this is going to work real well, but guys, let's give it a try. It looks amazing. Is it going to stand? First time ever making it. Let's see what happens. Oh, guys, look at that. Look how beautiful that right, that, man, that is just, look, everything is in there. Just like that. Trash can nachos. Guys, check it out. All right, guys, I should have waited till I got to the table to take the can off, but it looked amazing. I picked it up and was going to move it over to the table and do a taste test, but it kind of fell over. But guys, let's just give this a try. Pull it out right there. Look, beans, cheese, meat. Everything is right there. I mean, that's just amazing and how that all just layers together. There's not a naked nacho in this bunch. Oh, man.
That is so good. Look, every bite you pull out of there, it's loaded. And so I know, I don't know about you, but every time I go somewhere to eat nachos or every time I make nachos, there's always those naked nachos that aggravate you, right? Like you hate to be the one that's getting the nachos with all the good stuff on it, but that's what you order them for. But with these, hey, every nacho has something on it. Guys, you got to give this a try. Absolutely delicious. Guys, make some comments down below. Let us know what you think. Let's give Bo a quick taste. What you think, Bo? Come here. Bo loves it. You will too. Guys, thanks for watching. Just know that we love you very much, but more importantly, we want you to know that God loves you. And until next time, now you're cooking. No coffee needed style.